Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in the southern Thailand province of Patalung. And today is a special day because we're going to a market which is called Talat Tainok. And this is a market where the entire province, people from the community, gather together to bring their special and unique fruits and vegetables, fresh market ingredients. Wow. Wow. But also there is an abundance of cooked food, people coming from villages and preparing their special dishes. And so today we're gonna explore for the market. We're gonna see some of the ingredients available, some of the unique and special products. And I'm gonna share this entire Thai street food tour at the market with you in this video. It's a Sunday morning, it's 9 a.m. People are already starting to pour into the market. So we haven't even entered the market yet. We're just walking in towards the entrance. We just parked, but I'm already loving the feel of it. It's just so green, so natural, surrounded by nature. I'm very excited. When I was coming, when we were planning about this trip to Patalung, it was one of the, the priorities, one of the things I was most looking forward to coming to. I mean, just because this market, the community from all over Patalung gathers to uh, bring their goods, their supplies, their ingredients from their farm or their special dish that they cook, that their family cooks, all in one place and just surrounded by the lush nature. <laughs> Welcome to the market. And we got here pretty early right as they opened, so it's not too busy yet, although lots of people are, are starting to pour in, but I, I'm pretty sure in an hour or two it's gonna be packed here. There's a lot of organic, fresh, local vegetables and fruits. This is an amazing place to support small producers. Just home farms or people just gathering fruits and ingredients from the trees from their backyards. <laughs> This green market section is just spectacularly beautiful and everything is within natural packaging as well within uh, banana leaf or banana husk packaging and baskets. Some really unique southern Thai vegetables. Lots and lots of stink beans, lots of jankle, lots of chilies, different types of eggplants. There's long pepper. There's some definitely some unique herbs and vegetables that I haven't seen elsewhere. Hello from uh, from Thailand. And on top of the amazing produce, just being able to shop within nature. Look, those are trees up there. We're just completely surrounded by nature here. We're under a canopy of trees. Oh, I love this market. Live music also sets the tone. The aroma is just irresistible. It's too good to pass up. And she had two different types of chicken. The red one is a sweeter one. And she said the yellow one is spicy, but you can see that just glaze as they're grilling. I died. Definitely a lot of coconut milk, uh, turmeric in the marinade. Oh, and just you can even see the kaffir lime leaves, the herbs in there, it smells unbelievable. So I had to try this first. It's hot and fresh and wrapped in a banana leaf. Pop that out of the banana leaf wrapper, it smells so good. You can see the K 
kaffir lime leaf there, I believe, and that coconut milk marinade mixture and the spices are just embedded, baked, grilled, roasted, caramelized into the chicken. Oh, wow. Oh, man, that's as good as it smells. Oh, wow. The lemongrass, though. Oh, man. A little bit spicy. The richness of the coconut cream. It has an amazing herbal taste, especially from lemongrass and kaffir lime leaves. Oh, man, that's so incredibly herbal. That is so good. <laughs> oh, man. And I've had like similar versions of Gaiyang grilled chicken around Thailand, but this is different. I think it's pepper. That's where the like spice is coming from. Oh man, that just melts in your mouth. I like things when they're grilled with coconut milk basted on them uh, because the that just kind of caramelizes and creates such a smokiness. This was a completely impulse purchase. I was just walking past and I smelled it. That's like some of the best grilled chicken I've had in so long. You're gonna wanna lick off all that coconut milk marinade. I'm gonna gnaw on that bamboo skewer to get all that flavor off. Mm. Wow, that, that was really good. I'm glad that was my first bite at the market. I'm in the middle of editing this video, but really it's one of the best markets I've been to anywhere in Thailand. Delicious food and surrounded by lush nature. Two quick things. Number one, if you could quickly give this video a thumbs up. It will just take you one second and it will really help this video out. And then number two, the new t-shirt design, which is just a little bit different. Uh, the not spicy, not eating t-shirt, my pet, my gin, is available now on the store. So I'll have the link in the description box. Uh, you can check that out. And I wanna say a big thank you for your support. Let's get back to the video. And thank you for watching this video as well. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัส
mean, that was a pretty typical plate of Southern Thai food, but really good. Awesome curry paste, awesome spices. Mmm. That was delicious. Okay, from here, let's continue exploring. Let's walk around. There's still quite a bit of market to walk around. Uh, we gotta try some snacks, and I especially wanna try, there's a stall where they're making fresh rice noodles with curry. It looks, it looks delicious. This network of trees and vines and canals and just plant life growth is one of the coolest markets I've seen in all of Thailand. It's just so natural and so green. It's just so refreshing. One of the cool things at the market is that they're making fresh, in Thai it's called kanom jin, which is uh, rice noodles. But this one is sen sot, which are fresh rice noodles. Oftentimes the batter is fermented. Uh, but this is the traditional way. They squeeze the batter out of the top into the boiling water. They're cooking over fire. And then that uh, boils the, the fresh rice batter noodles. I think he's gonna make it right now. That's the traditional way to make kanam jin sen sot. Here, that's a fresh batch, and then they serve it right there. So you're guaranteed fresh rice noodles. Uh, and boiled over a fire, he just twists that batter, and then he has to cool the hot noodles in cool water uh, so that they don't stick together, so that they remain separate. <laughs> อันนี้แกงน้ำยาปิดอันนี้น้ำยากะทิอันนี้น้ำยากะทิอ่าก็น้ำปลาแล้วก็แกงเจียวหวานจ้าดูอ่าลองดูครับลองทมชมแช่
It's called luk chok. Luk chok. It comes, it's a type of fruit, I think from a type of palm tree that comes from the rainforest in Patalung, from the mountains, the rainforest. But it's amazing, it's like this long strand, this string of fruit. It would be so cool to see that in the rainforest. Yeah, you empty out the fruit and it looks like a little jelly, kind of similar to nipa palm. And so he puts that into a bowl and he adds in a little bit of syrup and coconut milk, I believe. <laughs> You're going mouth first. Any kind of like little jellies from the rainforest? Oh, I just cannot wait to try it. Mm. Oh wow, those are like amazing. It does taste like it's a natural jelly. Uh, kind of, yeah, it's so good. Like kind of has like crispness of water chestnut on the inside, but the outside is just like this gelatinous jelly with almost a taro taste to it. He just put in a little bit of sweetness from syrup, I think, and then uh, richness of coconut milk. That just makes a natural, very textural dessert sweet snack that's delicious and directly from the rainforest of Patalum. Okay. <laughs> It's a southern, famous southern Thai puppetry known as Nang Talung. And uh, you'll see the symbols of these puppets all over southern Thailand. Um, and he has a whole instrumental drums and system with a microphone set up. That's so cool what he's doing. Telling a story with the puppets. Lunch is in full swing. It's starting to get pretty busy at the market. Next up, and you can smell this from like across the market, which is called jambada. It's a fruit, it's similar to jackfruit, it's called champadak in English. It's so unbelievably aromatic and they're frying it up in a batter, I believe with some coconut. It's just extremely ripe. He just opened one fresh, he gave me a piece. Mm. Oh wow. I love Jumpadoc. It's just like so pungent with a hint of fermentation. So sweet, like honey. Mm. And he just opened the entire fruit like a flower, just like a budding flower. Um, and then she just stripped that off the, the inner core stem into the batter. That goes straight into the oil. We're gonna get some of the, the fried jambada next. Hello, I'm off. I'm eating Thailand. Jambada mm. okay, number one. Number one. Okay. Mm. This is so sticky and so like juicy, unbelievable juiciness coming out of it. Wow, that's sweet. Hello. Mm. Ani bori kura, okay la. Ani thot leo. Ah, thot leo. Kabun. Mi mi jambada leung kap jambada si som. Man kan mai kap. Mai muen kan. Mai muen kan. Ah, mai muen kan. Ani mun pen jambada kanun. Ah. Yang jambada ban. Jambada. Oh. 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 Oh
อันนี้หวานอันนี้อันนี้มันหวานมันหวานมันอ่าหวานมันอร่อยโอเคขอบคุณมากมากครับ And he's just so incredibly friendly. This fried right out of the oil. It's hot. Oh wow. Oh oh. You can eat the jamba dal seed on this one too. The jamba dal seed. Wow. It's kind of like potatoey or kind of like taro. Oh man, that's so good. You taste the coconut. You taste the sesame seeds in the batter. It's deep fried. It's hot. Wow, that's tasty. The starch, yeah, it is like it is like taro. Mmm, so starchy, so hearty. They're so friendly. They're so cool. And there's that fresh jambalaya. Like literally, if you, you you cannot walk past it without stopping because it smells so good. It's so fragrant. People are just coming from all over the market to to get their fried jambalaya. Mmm. It's delicious. We're walking out of the market. That jambada was the perfect way to end this Thai street food tour, and it's been just charming, pleasant, and just fun and like just so nature oriented. But one more snack on the way out, which is just fruit sala, which is salak, which is snake fruit. This area is just full. There's tons of snake fruit, but I just had to buy it because her packaging is so creative and so perfect. Uh, serving it in a banana blossom leaf flower. With even some of the banana flowers in it, I had to support her natural, eco-friendly packaging, and I love snake fruit on top of that. Mm. You'll find snake fruit around Thailand, but the snake fruit in Patalung, I think it's the best I've had of anywhere in Thailand. So tart, sweet, and juicy all at the same time. It's just a burst of like juice in your mouth. Mm. Mm. Like, I mean, you would think you took a whole cup of juice. It's so it's it's that juicy. It's one of the most enjoyable markets I've seen in Thailand. Uh, it's so relaxing just because of. I mean, look at this nature. This. Is the the ceiling, the rooftop of the market, um, and just the entire community aspect of it. สวัสดีครับมาใช่ครับไม่สวัสดีครับ Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as I was saying, like so many cool, friendly, nice people, you'll just immediately notice the community here, the greenness. And I was really surprised how many fresh vegetables and just organic produce, fruits that you'll find here. Just an abundance, man. I wish I had a kitchen here. I would buy a bunch of ingredients. You can make some amazing Southern Thai food from the ingredients available here. So that's going to be it for this video. I want to say a huge thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already Already subscribed. Click subscribe now, and also click the little bell icon, and that way you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Goodbye from the lush nature canopy green market in Patalung, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.